Hi there, this is Logan with Northern Arizona Wind and Sun. Uh, today we are doing a small build for an off-grid system and uh, we're going to show you guys a little bit of the wiring using Victron equipment and a Midnight Solar e-panel. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys a little walkthrough on uh, a build we just did. This is gonna be used on a small off-grid system not too far from Flagstaff. So we'll, uh, we'll just get right into it. Uh, I think probably the main component uh, first in the system is gonna be the Victron Multi Plus 2. So this is a new product from Victron. It's a 48 volt, 3000 watt inverter, uh, 35 amp battery charger. Uh, this is a little different than their 12 volt multi plus two um, in that this just has a single uh, 120 volt AC output. Uh, it does have a secondary AC output that's live when you have an AC input present. Um, but essentially this is kind of their uh, maybe scaled down version of the Quattro, something a little bit more cost effective for uh, small 48 volt systems. Um, the other main Victron component we have in our setup here is the charge controller. So this is their Smart Solar uh, MPPT 15070, uh, 150 volt input, 70 amps uh, rated output. Uh, so this is the device that is handling our energy flow from solar panels to the batteries. The large white box you see here, this is the Midnight Solar E-Panel. Uh, this is one of their MNE175 STS-LT panels. Uh, so this is kind of a generic E-Panel. It's not designed for 
one specific inverter or another, um, but in this case, it did it did work out quite well uh, with the uh, with the new Multi Plus Two. We did go ahead and mount the uh, BMV712 monitor right on the front door there, uh, so pretty easy to see and access. Uh, we'll open the cabinet up and give you guys a peek inside here. So. Uh, this has already been wired uh, with all of our cables and connections. Uh, it does come pre-wired from midnight with uh, AC circuit breakers, AC in and out bus bars. Uh, there's a PV positive bus bar, battery positive bus bar, ground bus. It does come with a 175 amp breaker in this case for the inverter. Uh, Originally, the shunt included was a midnight solar shunt that's very easily removed, and we replaced it with the BMV shunt. Uh, plenty of space to make that swap, and then we like to use the uh, midnight solar MN shunt bus bar to uh, give us some more connection points on the load side. Um, so this was actually the first time I've got my hands on one of these, and I'll say I'm pretty impressed with uh, how everything is laid out. Uh, very clearly labeled, lots of room to make your wire bends, to put cables in, uh, plenty of extra space for additional breakers. It's got this additional DIN rail track here, a couple more spots on the side for panel mount breakers. Um, I believe you can even put another big DC breaker on the opposite side of the enclosure too. And um, just in general, plenty of knockouts all around the box on all sides, even has knockouts on the back if uh, you needed to route cables behind the enclosure. So um, this is, again, not specifically designed for Victron. It's a general e-panel um, that, that will work for really any single phase inverter. Um, but yeah, very, very sweet little enclosure and uh, has everything that you need for a, for a complete installation. All right, well, thanks everyone for joining us on that short little walkthrough of our Victron system here. Um, if you're in need of a custom pre-wired system like this or a small off-grid system, uh, just give us a call and we're happy to help you out. Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, and comment.